Hello and good evening. Beef jerky. Or will be. <laughs> I do that, don't I? Partway through something, tell you what the end result is going to be, and that's all you ever hear about it. But this is the first um, roast that I went through already, and I cut it all up and took the majority of its fat off and its silver skin, which is very important the fat because it can turn the meat rancid and the silver skin because nobody can chew through it. Even animals have a problem che chewing through it. Anyway, silver skin's got to go. So that is going to be dehydrated and in it is dehydrated items from my counter. The garlic and the onion that I've already I rave about it and I keep making it because it is the best. I gotta tell ya. I, we use it in everything. It's not just me. Our whole family loves it. Um, and a little bit of sugar, a little bit of pepper, and soy sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know, that stuff nobody can talk or say, except for, doesn't matter. And um, a little bit of smoke to, to kind of even it out. Oh, if you could smell this. Mm-mm-mm. This was our smaller roast. We got two of them um, and our last order. Grocery haul! Um, kind of silly, right? But I was going to do that, but it's been it's the second month in a row. It's not quite working out the way that it should. But, um, so that was the small of our roast. The big one is just over 10 bucks, 10 50 right? That's, um, that's pretty good. And I don't know if you know this, but you can turn this after it's it's cooked, well, dehydrated, and then stored, you can actually use this to make soup. Like, it's no different than any other dehydrated, packed stuff. The meat's going to be weird. That's just the way it is. Um, the texture is going to be different. But... If this was a regular year, you'd be like, woo, yeah, tell me how to do that. We'll take that camping or hiking or let's put some out at the cabin with some moisture absorbers and desiccant packs and blah, blah, blah. Well, this year, some people are, not some people, there's stuff going on. It's 2020. And I don't know about anybody else that might be watching this piddly little channel, but it's not easy to come by a, well, we're hoping it's actually beef. <laughs> How funny, right? Um, but in, in the times of meat glue, uh, you, you just don't really know unless you're a butcher dude and you know, and I'm not one of them. I'm, I don't, huh, my only labels are not good. <laughs> right? I know, funny and not funny. I have, like, dad humor, except for it's the crazy mom humor. Ugh. Anyway. I have a sense of humor. It's just not like everybody else's. Anyway. So this, like I said, 1043 for that decent size. The other one was smaller, and it did up that whole thing. So that's pretty cool. I'm not actually going to try to cut this one as it is right now. Um, I actually just want to try to take off this chunk here at the end, which I want this fat gone. And I'm going to take this end off. And then I'm thinking about taking it this way and going through the middle and then freezing it so that, well, partial freezing it. But this time I'm going to try the deep freeze instead of the fridge freezer um, so that it's stiffer when I go to cut it so that it's more even. If I'm going to be doing that with both of them, then I would like to have, um, it's easier. It's just easier to get it. There's a word. Wow. By the way, this is attempt number four or five in the last hour, <laughs> which is why there's already a container of this done. Um, Continuity of cuts. I don't know. Yeah, even that's wrong. Um, I'd like them all the same size. 
But I thought I had a bigger word. No, I know I have a bigger word. I just don't have it right now. Ha ha ha. Stoner problems. Not really. I mean, it's not just that. It's stress and stuff and lack of use. That's the other part. If you don't use it, you lose it. And when it comes to vocabulary, it's very, very true. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, use it or lose it. it. It's so true. And I know there's things out there that I could be maybe an app that gives me like a word a day type thing that used to be calendars, word a day calendars. I don't want to turn it into work. Not like the first time I, I got all my lessons in, in the English language. I would like to enjoy remembering words for the joy of words. Oh, words. Love words. Mm, I need to cough. And that is rude. Uh, but our house is unwell and we're all coughing. So, anyway, back to this lovely stuff. So, it's a little expensive right at the moment. And we had an opportunity to get two medium roasts. N not the best, not the worst. It, I've got marbling. Hopefully it's beef, huh? I try not to think about it. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Look it up though, if you're curious. Meat glue. It's, um, I heard about it almost a decade ago from somebody that I'd been dating. Um, and he worked in, in, a, in a meat processing plant. And I thought, no, no, no. Yes, oh. Oh my gods, yes. And ew, ew. And the industry was already ripping people off with it, like restaurants and stuff. There's write-ups and everything. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to make beef jerky because we had an opportunity to get a couple of chunks. And as much as we would all like to just cut this up and eat it as a steak, once in six months, We've had steak that we cut up a piece. Well, we had beef that we cut up as a piece of steak and marinated it and did the hot cast iron. And oh my goodness, my mouth is drooling. Mm. And somebody that's had a steak today or this week is going to be like, well, yeah. Well, I got to tell you, once in six months is not enough. And I could do it with this because... It makes my mouth water. It makes everybody's mouth in our house water. Wow, that was hard to say. But I'd rather have the taste more often. So we have a couple of pieces from last month like this, like this cut in half. There's a couple of pieces like that in, in the freezer. So I can cut it up and make fresh stew or something or even a stir fry I could cut them up into strips and make it into like fresh but this is the end of 2020 and we're on mandates have changed thanks to C19 and people's egos so the end of this year is is not going to be easy for anybody on this continent <laughs> And I'd rather have some that I can turn into a beef stew when I won't be able to afford a hunk of beef than, than having none. So I'm making beef jerky and it's going to be tasty. And the first one, like I said, is the soy sauce type one. And that's going to be more the munchy one. This one I'm probably going to do up with um, oregano and thyme from the garden. The rosemary died this year, so that won't be in there. And just salt and pepper, just basic. Just enough to give it some flavor. It's going to sit in it. Extra salt, you know, and then wash it off and do the whole thing. Pat dry, put in dehydrator tomorrow. Yeah, I said today earlier, I'm, we're not eating this today. It's going to sit overnight. Um, but, so, future soup, 
or future snacks if things turn out good. Yay for future snacks. For now, I've got to grab a bag and put this in the freezer flat as possible. That's why I keep pushing it down. I shouldn't keep playing with it. The warmth from your fingers is not good for meat. Um, because it warms it up, obviously. I did not do that even. That was bad. But anyway, um, I'm going to end this because I've done my little random multi-directional vent into the ether. Damn, lack of editing skills. Anyway, okay, so there's beef jerky slash future soup being started. And crossed fingers that I've actually been recording this time. Or... Whatever. Anyway, harmony, happiness, and health. Ha ha. I, wow. I am not well socialized. I apologize. Harmony, happiness, and health from my home to yours with all sincerity. Hope to catch y'all again tomorrow or maybe the next day. Bye for now.